Hi guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. So I asked everyone to ask me some questions on Instagram about myself, just so you can get to know me a little bit before I actually go into making these videos a little more often. So my first question someone asked was, what was your favourite thing about school? You know what, I don't actually know. I'm, I'm going to have to say like the dance team because I didn't really like school that much. Yeah, I'm going to say the dance team. So we had the elite team on Tuesday, which was just a select group of us. And then we had the Wednesday team, which was everybody who wanted to join in with dance. So I think it was year nine to 11. And then there was a separate team for year seven and eight. We went to the Great British Dance, the Great, well, I can't say that, the Great British Dance Off. Yeah, uh, we went there since year seven and then I was looking to do it in primary school as well. But yeah, definitely the dance team. The second question was, how old was I when I realised that I wanted to pursue dance as a career? I don't actually think there was an age because I've done dance since I was really little and I'm not, I don't know, it's just when you've done something for so long, you, you just know that's what you want to do really. Yeah. The next question that I was asked was, what are my favourite shoes at the moment? They're definitely my Jordans. I wear them all the time. I don't even know when I don't wear them because they're the only shoe that I wear at the minute and I literally have a cupboard full. But yeah, I should love them. I don't know if it's because they're new, but I wear them all the time. My next question was, what is my favourite thing to do in my spare time? Obviously, I already mentioned that I like to bake, but I'm just going to say, like, just chilling and watching Netflix. Just, it brings you, like, back to, like, doing something to relax yourself, really. But I'm thinking of doing a video on Netflix series and films that I've watched, which I think others should watch. So, yeah. Keep an effect for that video. My next question was my favourite food. I don't really know where to go with this question because if we're talking about like food as in meals, I've got to say anything with chicken in, like I love a roast dinner, I love Nando's, McDonald's, anything really, like I just eat anything. <laughs> anything that's put in front of me, I just eat it. My next question was, what is my favourite dance class? I love this question. So my favourite dance class is definitely got a big jazz. I love it. And contemporary, but I'm just going to stick with jazz because I've done modern jazz at my old dance school before I went to college. So definitely jazz. I prefer musical theatre jazz to like the Fosse and just like normal basic jazz. But I love it to watch, to dance anything oh <laughs> oh i've got to answer this now the next question is what is my least favorite dance class so i don't hate any dance class because i love dance but the one that i don't like doing as much as the others is definitely commercial in hip-hop that kind of section in dance it's a no from me. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I just haven't been trained in it since I was younger. I've done obviously workshops in it, but I didn't train like every week in and out doing it. So obviously it isn't one of my strong points. So picking up choreography is harder than when I'm doing a jazz class or a lyrical class, but obviously, you've got to challenge yourself in every class so you've just got to go in it with a positive mindset okay so my next question is one thing that i've missed doing because we've been in lockdown so i definitely say it's just spending time with the girls and like making memories with them because obviously so much has gone like we've been in lockdown since last year now so we've missed like a whole year of like making memories to look back on spending time with friends because obviously next year 
a lot of my friends are going off to university so we're all kind of going to be split so we've kind of missed out on like the chance to do things together but obviously we're still going to stay friends but it's just going to be different because we're all going to be in different places but i definitely say it's spending time with my friends my next question is one thing that i'm looking forward to after lockdown going for food i can't wait to go and have a meal out eating in the house just isn't the same at all like every week you go and get your food from the supermarket like you can still have takeaways like a chinese or mcdonald's or something but it's it's not the same as like sitting down in a restaurant and eating and dressing up as well because in your house you just wear joggers don't you but yeah going out for a meal dressing up definitely this question i think a lot of people know because it's something that i'm very open about but it is how long have i been dancing for so i started dancing when i was two at a dance school down my road called Candice academy of dance i started doing ballet then i did tap theater craft and i just went into all the styles that i could and then a couple of years well quite a lot of years later actually i became an ambassador for a company called move it shake it they do conventions, residential, so if you're a dancer and wanting to go to anything like that, I'd definitely recommend Move It Shake It all the way. Um, I then joined an associate programme called Jazz Associates in Stoke-on-Trent. They have them in quite a lot of places actually, like they're different branches. And then I stopped that a year ago. And then I'm now at Addict Dance Academy in Leicester. I've been there since September. So yeah, this is one of my favourite questions. Um, the question is job plans for the future. So I'm hoping to go down the musical theatre route of being in West End shows, maybe possibly cruise ships, but it's not something that I'm aiming towards. But you've got to take any job that comes your way in the dance career because you just don't know when the next job's going to come from. But my main goal is definitely West End Productions. My next question is three things on my bucket list. So I don't really have a bucket list in a way, but I just know that I've always dreamed of going to New York. So that is definitely up there. Just going on a holiday, just spending time there really, just to see what it's all about. And then obviously the main goals, which everyone has is get a nice house, everything like that just yeah living my best life my next question is my favorite memory so i have so many memories but the one memory that stands out for me so me my friend becky jess and emily went to the dessert shop one night <laughs> and it started snowing really bad so becky's mom came to pick us up and we came to a junction and then it was even go down a hill or turn so you didn't have to go down it and then Steph Becky's mom tried it's not even that funny but you just it's one of their memories you have to be there for it to be funny and she went to turn the car one way and it just went down the hill and me and Becky were wetting ourselves so much and we couldn't get up the hill we got stuck and everything it was one of the most funniest memories I'll ever have. Okay, another funny memory that I've got. <laughs> so, my friend Leah from college, we all have jokes in our group. It's just jokes. But I told her once that she looks like a space rider, Chris. So, I turned up to college one day with a pack of space riders. <laughs> she was wetting herself. I'll attach the video, but oh my god, it was one of the most funniest things ever. <laughs> <laughs> my next question is any regrets? So I don't think I really have any regrets because I think everything happens for a reason. So yeah, you just take every day as it comes. Like if things happen, it happens, but yeah. My next question is, what style of dance would you? So at my old dance school, I trained in ballet, tap, theatre craft, freestyle, modern jazz, 
Um, at competitions, I had a character solo, a song and dance solo, a Greek solo, and then obviously all of the stuff that I've already mentioned. So like lyrical, modern, tap, yeah. And then now at Addict, I have Latin lessons, which I've never done before I went to Addict. I have hip hop lessons, I have commercial lessons, anything you can think of really, I'll just do it. Okay, so my last question is dream West End show to be in. So my absolute dream would be in Les Mis. I just love it. I think it is one of the most heartwarming musicals that there is. I, I'd absolutely love to be in it, but obviously every West End show is amazing in its own different way because every single show is so different. So I'd be more than happy to be in any show, but them is is my absolute goals so yeah that is the end of the video guys and the end of the questions thank you so much to everyone who sent them in i've loved making this video so much please subscribe share like tell your friends about my channel and i can't wait to make more videos put in the comments anything that you'd like to see from me and yeah thank you for watching guys